What's up everybody? It's Icy Cubes back with another video. I just wanted to make a maybe short tutorial on how to do this of making your own jerseys slash shirts or anything like that in Animal Crossing New Horizons or New Leaf um, and how to specifically make these shirts right here. Like I did a Matt Murray jersey um, in their stadium series from like 2017 I think and I wanted to make this because this logo right here I didn't draw by hand and I've already tried to and it looked terrible but um, I wanted to make this to show you how you can actually use real pictures or anything like that and actually put it on your shirts um, it's not too hard I made a template for this messed with it um, last night and it works perfectly now and when you put this in game it looks so much better than right here um, just because of how the game knows how to smooth the pixels out and everything so just want to make this a quick video maybe um hopefully it doesn't take too long but um first off here's my template right here so since this shirt where i'm going to be making this um atlanta braves ronald acuna jersey um this one isn't updated doesn't have the nike logo but i also will be putting the nike logo on it um and what you're going to want is a 64 by 64 square. So basically like a super high quality Minecraft texture pack if you want to go there. Um, and what's going to happen is that the purple square right up here, if you can see it, I'll just highlight, like, highlight it with my mouse. That square is the front of your shirt. This red square back here is the uh, back of the shirt. This green one is the right arm and the blue one is the left arm. And now if you're doing a long sleeve shirt, this will go all the way to the end. Just so you know that, because I did make a template for that too. Um, if I can find it real quick. I don't even know what folder I put in. There it is. Um, if you want to do a long sleeve, I will link both of these, hopefully, if I remember, in the description. So here's long sleeve, same concept of everything, just longer sleeves. Simple as that. So basically what we're going to do to get started is I'm going to get the color of the actual jersey. So this is the best part about it too, is you don't have to guess what color it is. You can literally just pick the, the shirt and find like the best part that looks like what you know as the color. Like, I mean, you can see the little um, dot down there highlighting and moving around. It's not really moving too much as I drag along here. So obviously we can get a pretty good color here now what you're gonna do is just literally fill in whatever you want to fill in I'm gonna start with the front just so I don't get it mixed up with the back and everything um, so the front is basically a 32 by 32 square so this red square that I just uh, painted in that is 32 by 32 the only thing and I would recommend that you go to acpatterns.com like because this is how you're gonna upload it when you go to the editor, you're going to want to change this. So this is what I, this is how, uh, what led me to finding the, like, how to make it. Jeez. Um, and you want, and you want to, you have to put in your title, author, type, or author, whatever. And actually. So you want to do that. Oh, okay. I'll just do red then. Just put your name in there and then the town of your Animal Crossing. I mean, this doesn't matter. You just want to put it in. So you're going to select here. This is where you can do this. Instead of just uploading a picture and putting it up as like a painting or something, this is where you pick it. And you want to pick which shirt. So you do shirt long sleeve, shirt short, or short sleeves or sleeveless and there you go so then we want to do short sleeves it'll bring up this and this is exactly what I have in paint.net that I, I have this open while I'm doing this just because you if you want to check what you're what, what's going on like where it is because on the shoulders is like the trickiest part um, and lining that stuff up so you just want to have that open because it really helps so I'm going to get back to this. So basically, like right here, I've already selected it. I'm going to do Control-I to select the logo. 
think it's selected. We're gonna copy that. And now we can just go off and do what we wanna do here. And we're gonna keep canvas size. So basically what you do there is just use like the little magic wand tool, select everything around it. And even like in between like that red part right there, select that. And then you're just gonna hit control I. And then that way you'll be able to um, invert the selection. So I'm gonna warn you, so like back here, this looks perfect. It isn't gonna look spot on. And especially with words, like especially this logo right here, you're gonna start seeing it because you're trying to fit this on the front of a shirt. In game, it it does look good. I mean, I can't argue with the um, results I've been getting. So basically right there, I mean, we can maybe make it a little bit wider. The, the wider or the bigger it is, the more clear it's gonna be. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. I mean, I think that probably would be, I might want it a little bit higher. But right there, you can, you get the gist of it, especially when you're in the game. Like you really do. Um, I'm gonna copy that actually, because I want that on another layer. I'm just gonna delete all. Um, yeah, I want, I, it's best when, I just stuttered so bad. It's best when you go and actually do this on other layers, just because if you want to adjust something after, and the first time you put it on, it's going to be the most clear. So like if I go and edit this now, and like you're going to start seeing it's going to blur like that, and you don't want that because you're going to lose the actual like sharpness of the pixels. So the you want to get it the first time, and that's it. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So that's the front. We're going to get the stripes in there too. This is going to be the part that's going to be hard for me. Just because i um, lining it up with the back. But now with the back, you might be saying like this picture is crooked and it's kind of the left side of the jersey is pushed out more. It is. But again, since we are like going down and we're, it's really not like high quality or anything like that. Like now if you were doing this on like say like session and you're making a shirt and whatever and it's going to be like this quality well then you obviously want it to be straight on but like for this this is like perfect um so again i'm just going to do what i did on the last one like with the logo just select it enough where you get like i might actually put the mlb logo on um where like your name isn't selected or anything like that your numbers aren't selected control i copy that I'm gonna put this on another layer in this uh, thing right here because I want to fix it up now sometimes this happens with the red right around the names you do want to get rid of this so like especially like right now that I can still change this I'm gonna get rid of this because of the fact that that's gonna show up just because of you're getting those pixels and it's gonna see it and it's gonna say no no so just get that up a little bit more to where it actually might cover up like that where it starts covering up a bit you can always go over the stuff again like in the AC patterns and everything but it's best just getting it done see I see a spot right here where it deselected it so I'm just going to use my square tool here and cover this up and I'm gonna stay away from the edges again because you can see how it's like a pink color like that's what I'm talking about you want to try and stay away from that as much as you can to where it doesn't affect the actual quality of the uh, logo I mean like literally last night I sat here for two hours trying to figure out because like you go online and you like search like Kobe Bryant jersey and there's like this one that looks really good um and i have to give credit to the guy that made it because um he, if he didn't say that he was using the patterns it wouldn't have led me to finding out what i found out so i mean thank you so we're gonna do that again and there we go so now we got that there we actually got the mlb logo so i can copy that in too so now that i have that i'm going to just select the name because see how we have this actually i can just do that and I'll deselect the logo right now. 
it is probably best to do these separate like I should deselect this and just do the numbers because then you can edit it to how it's looking so I'm gonna do that and we're gonna do this so like on AC patterns when it shows up in that little preview you're not really gonna know what it's gonna look like in game you're gonna get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like but it's still 99% of the time like 99 out of 100 times that you do this it's gonna look better in um, your your game than it is on online I'll just say that much now this seems to be about like the right size now like this it, it did happen so here's what the easy solution to this is um, get your pen or your pencil whatever and you're literally just gonna go and while I have the what's it called the selection around it I can actually do this probably want to deselect it and you can just go around it and this is what makes it like the numbers look so nice because like when you go around it like this it just gives them that pop like in game like that Murray jersey that I did when I put it in game oh it was amazing so and if anybody wants to like request anything I'm down to doing that if anybody doesn't want to go through this I'm fine with it just leave a comment on the video or something and I'm I'll be fine doing it because it is fun I mean for myself um because I mean it's just like it's like putting the logos into any game I've already made videos on this like with the thug pro of like just put your logo in a game and then you see what you can do what I might actually do here is just that so we don't get these to connect because when these do connect in game it will like draw a line between them just I want to leave that out there that's why on like the corners I'm not except for the one um maybe not up there um you want to make sure they're not really touching each other because then in game it will draw a line right to it so now I'm gonna go do the name I mean these jerseys really aren't that difficult the only thing that will probably be the most difficult is the stripe up there but I mean we'll see we'll see how it goes now I'm going to wait and put the accent mark in after I get this and the period see how it looks because I don't know how much room we're gonna have now geez I keep burping um I don't know how this is gonna work like how well it's gonna work with the name being slanted like this it might actually work perfectly I might need to move the numbers down and we're gonna need to make it a little bit shorter there um now like all these pixels I don't know I might just make them all white and the shoulders are like right on the edge because um if I open that I can show what I'm saying and I, this is actually really important to know because it's weird how they do it so like if I open this one right here these shoulders like so right here on the corner is like the top of your shoulder and it's weird how it works because like if you know when you're editing something in game right here it like they have like this cut off a little bit and that's the weird thing about this so I don't know don't know why um they did like why I think it was New Leaf that had it like this and that's why again I said just upload it online make sure it looks good before you finish it because you don't want to go in there and be like oh poop I'm gonna actually do this again I'm gonna put this on another layer because I want it separate from the numbers so let me just do that real quick I mean to be honest I think this actually looks pretty good again you're gonna have to take this like with a grain of salt just because of the fact of you're converting something that's a high quality image to like a low quality image and it's just it's not gonna be perfect and I'm just gonna have to like honestly get you get used to it and deal with it but, like I'm gonna move these numbers down just a bit 
because I want to actually fit the name as big as I can. So we're going to just grab that and maybe move it down like two pixels. I just realized I didn't even put the color on the bottom layer. It's okay. Like, literally when I do this stuff, it's just the sloppiest. Like, the files are just so sloppy. That's why I usually don't, like, upload my own PDNs. Um, just because, like, it looks terrible. <clears throat> so. I think... We are clear, except we're not going to get to fit that MLB logo like we were trying. You know what? I'm going to delete that. Like, like this is the thing that I'm just going to have to get used to doing these. This video probably is going to be, like, super long. Um, You're just going to have to get used to, like, just trial and error. I mean, in that sense. Because, like, I might not fit the the MLB logo because I definitely want to get the stripes up here at the top like how it is on the jersey so we have a few maybe two pixels that we're going to be able to squeeze through I don't know if that's going to be enough I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more and I think that that looks pretty good like I mean you can't read it but you get the idea when you see it now I am worried about this pixel right here so I might just do that again and move this down just a bit. <clears throat> just like I said, just make sure you don't have um, pixels touching because it's gonna like really make it difficult in the end. So I'm gonna throw this actually in in um, AC patterns real quick, just because I want to see what it looks like. And we're just going to color that. I'm going to throw this layer on the top, so when I come back, I'll know which arm is which. That's why I made it. It's kind of like that Minecraft thing that you could make. Save as. I'm going to put it in my MLB folder. I'm gonna make another folder. Sorry about this. I'm just gonna throw it in here, and we're gonna make Kuya. I would recommend you also save your um your files as you go along because if you lose it, you're gonna be a little triggered <laughs> so we're gonna grab that and there we go flatten and that's the other reason why you would want to save it before you do that so I'm gonna go to my file folder again and we want the PNG and literally you don't have to crop anything because this is exactly the size of the shirt and sometimes I did find out last night that this one looked better on like yellows but the RGB one is popping more so I'm going to use that one um these aren't going to do anything again because it's um the same size so there's the logo it seems a little dark I don't know why but actually again I would say just trust what you selected because if you go and change this color and make it brighter, um, it's the same thing with this. In game, this looks brighter. This looks orange and just gross, but I did select this color from the actual, um, what's it called? The actual jersey, like the official jersey page and everything. So again, I would say just stick with it. Um, but yeah, I would say right now that looks pretty good. Like you could just submit that and be like whatever um so the last thing like i said i'm just going to try to get the buttons in no idea how this is going to go so where's my okay here we go 
So over here, so I'm just going to do the same thing again and just select this just so we get like a spot on color. So I want to make it like one or two from the bottom. So we have room for that and now no idea where we're going to fit this in. So I'd probably say count over so like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's sixteen right there. So I would say go to this one. So if I go here, probably. And then just go down. And then go two over. Just like that. So then it has that sort of arc over here, which I have no idea how we're going to do that because we need to meet this up with the back. So, like, once this goes across and everything on the back, it's just going to go like that. Like, that terrible drawing, but you know, so it goes around everything and like that because it stays on that color so these will get wider like right there so we're going to go like start here so again like this is like adjacent like or what's it called these are going to look pixelated and everything right here but once you go in game these are going to be like straight lines like completely straight. I hope that's like wide enough. Because I think it's one, two, three, four, and then that. That's like your neck. I think that is wide enough. So we're gonna try that. Now I did see down here. I might actually make this white right there because this is my line right here. I want to make sure that they don't hit each other. And I also, I might go around the logo. Maybe make the insides blue. And I don't know. We're going to have to mess around with that a little bit. Um, but what? So we got... Let me go get the color again. Cover that back up. And then one, two, three, four. And, and then that. So, how far are we? So, if we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So, we're one, two, three pixels away from the back. And then we can just get rid of this. And then hopefully that connects. And that should be it. I mean, in in the grand scheme of it. Now I'm going to get the Nike logo. Because I want to make this authentic. Is it going to have... Yeah, it is. Um, let me go and do this again. I'm going to actually select this side. And I just want it to pick up every one of those pixels on the edge. Like usually when I edit pictures and it does this, I get annoyed of it. But right now it's like exactly what I need. Just because of the fact that we don't want those extra pixels because then you get that border. I mean, this is gonna look weird. I'm gonna make it smaller. Let's see, this is where I wish I didn't do what I did with the logo. Because I would, so you know what, I'm going to go open up the PDN again, just because I want to move that logo down. Like just like two pixels or three pixels maybe.
and then we can just literally copy the um, blue lines over and they'll just line up exactly where it is. Oh, oh that's stupid. Just like that, copy, and then back over to this one, paste. Boom. Now, we're running into that right there. Where is my eraser? since we shifted this down unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show this like in game because I have a switch light and can't record so I apologize for that I would like to show it off what it looks like the finished product but unfortunately I literally can't so there and now also what I wanted to do let me just fix these because I just saw it. What layer did I put it on? Oh, I put it on this one. No, I didn't. Hello. Oh, well, that's. Mm, I am smart. Okay. Here we go. There we go, like that. And now I can get this logo in <clears throat> so it actually will fit. So it just won't be like a little smudge. <laughs> so like that down now I am gonna make everything white on this because the real jerseys are just completely white and I don't have white selected so you know again we're just being completely smart Do -do -do. Yeah, and then like sometimes you gotta do that, just get the idea of it. I feel like I don't want to go around this all. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Got those connecting textures there again. I think that will look pretty good then. And then we're going to get our blue color again. Patch that up right there. I think that actually looks pretty good. If I don't say so myself. I mean, down here we can maybe give the logo just do that. Because you're not going to. That's only two pixels. So you're only going to get two colors anyway. I feel like I do. Again, I'll see what this looks like. Let's 
just to make it stand out. That looks bold. Like, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to take that stripe that I forgot to put on. That looks bold. I'm going to save that right there as my PDN, just in case. Like, and again, like, this finished product might look different. I might change this, but again, I'm just trying to get that like message across on how you can do this because like again like i said this i might change this down the road but when you do this yourself you will have as many tries and stuff that you want to put this in so that's all i wanted to get across is just how you do this so basically you just throw it in right here there it is i mean i have to say i think that looks pretty good now I do see one spot. No, I, I think that looks really good. But the one thing I'm seeing is exactly what I was thinking. Is these aren't connecting, so it seems like I need to keep going over and connecting them that way. Because the way I did it, it's stopping it. I need that to keep going the other way. But again, there you go. I mean, and then once you're done, you hit this. Get your phone, tablet, whatever. Um, scan each four codes. Have it connected in the in Nintendo app. There you go. And then you're done. So I'll upload this once I finish it and fix it and everything. But I hope that got everything across on how you do this. Um, hopefully everybody now I will start seeing more shirts because... You can make these in the game, but there's only so much you can do in pixel art that makes it, like, impossible of, like, every little detail of, like, how many different colored pixels there are here. That's why I only changed the outlines of it, because the insides, like, have different colors and everything. Like, when I go back to, like, these lighter colors in there and everything like that, like, that's why I only touch the edges. So, again you just get different varieties like the numbers you're going to see all this like it's hard to replicate that by hand in pixel art and yes people can do it but generally the majority of us really don't know how and that's not that's nothing bad with it so i mean there you go i hope that helped and yeah catch you in the next video